it started out with this great big hope that we we're all about to make something really special and this was our big launching pad and we were we we're off. The making of whatever happens at Pete Blaggett, it was an experience. Can I recall any setbacks during the production? Um, yes. How much time have you got? It was, you know, four years of hard work, of setbacks, of, you know, almost being told, you're not going to finish this film. Everything was really positive and it's just so incredible how quickly all that can, you know, implode on itself. Those very first two weeks were, were brutal. They were brutal. It just caused nothing but problems, nothing but debt, and nothing but a lot of stress and pain. And yeah, there was a certain point where I just did, didn't want to carry on with it at all. I think Mark probably was. That's how I, th I honestly thought that Mark was probably going to quit. There was an email from Mark that he was just saying, you know what, I think this is it. I'm had it. I just got completely disillusioned with, with the film and with filmmaking as well. Literally, we did the first two weeks, and I said to Mark, I said, I don't want to do any more. Uh, there was a point where I got to the, my limit and thought, I don't give a shit, I'm out, you know. Mark wasn't going to let it go. He was going to carry on. Maybe it would be four years later, maybe it would be ten years later. You just want to keep on shooting and you want to get it done and you want to see a project through and you don't want to give up, so you have to, by any means possible, you have to keep on shooting. I absolutely loved it and I couldn't believe what Mark had produced. It's a monster. It took over everything for about four years. At the end of all of that toil, of that four, year, four years of, of toil, I couldn't believe that he had actually put together this incredible film.